everybody. It's Michelle and I've got some really fun bead charms for you guys today. We're going to be doing pineapples. I've done several fruit bead charms in the past and I just love doing fruit bead charms. And pineapple is one of my favorite fruits and summer's coming up soon so I just thought I really needed to do some pineapple bead charms. So I've got a few different options for you guys. You know that I can hardly ever stop at one option. I like to show you guys different ways that you can do it and different ways to come up with the same idea on a charm. It's really all about shapes and colors and you can make anything that you want in a bead charm. So for the pineapples, I'm using an oval for the pineapple in yellow and a flower or bellflower sort of shape on all of these for the leafy top that sort of stands up taller on the pineapples and I really like that. So for my first one, my bellflower bead in green is five by seven millimeters and my yellow oval is eight by 11. And I think that one is really, really cute. And we're going to work our way up from there. Each one gets a little bigger, a little more whimsical and fun. And the next one, we're going to be using a sort of a golden yellow Shambhala bead. And these are more round than they are oval. But that Shambhala look with all those little spiky parts on there just reminded me so much of a pineapple. And I thought that would be so cute that I'm willing to pretend it's an oval and use it for a pineapple anyway. I just really love that for that pineapple look. And for the leafy tops on that, I'm going to be using these 12 millimeter wide by 6 millimeter thick green acrylic flower beads. And I'm going to use two of those just to make it stand up a little taller and be that tall pineapple crown. And then, by the time we get down here, we're getting really big and really fun and really whimsical. I've got a very large oval bead here. It's sort of a flat oval, and I thought it would be really cute and really fun if you wanted a larger pendant necklace or something like that. It measures at 28 millimeters tall by 20 millimeters wide, and it's about 10 millimeters thick. And for this one, we're building up our crown a little taller, and I'm going to use three different flower beads, all in acrylic and even in different shades of green. If you don't have the same shade of green, it doesn't matter. It's just going to add to the look a little bit, and I think it's going to be really cute. And these two here, I've got one in sort of a translucent green, and this one is more of a frosted green but they are both 27 millimeters wide and another one of those 6 by 12 millimeter ones like we're going to use on our Shambhala one. So we'll go ahead and get started putting these together. I really wanted to show you guys all three and for each one I've got a 2 inch head pin and a lobster clasp and as always I'll be making my jump ring to connect my lobster clasp on with if you don't want to make your own from your excess on your head pin, just go ahead and bring in a jump ring in addition to these supplies. So for our first tiny little cute pineapple, I'm going to put first on my oval bead and then my bellflower bead with a small end going down. And that's all it takes to create a pineapple. And I think that is so cute. So then I'm just going to hold it all together and bend my head pin over at about a 90 degree angle. And I'm going to cut that down to about a quarter inch. And then I'm going to roll that into a loop with my round nose pliers. And then I'm just going to take that excess and create a jump ring. I'm 
grabbing a hold of that about halfway up the shaft of my round nose pliers but depending on how big of a jump ring you want just do it wherever you want to, for whatever size jump ring you want and then just cut that apart where it meets then I'm going to take my jump ring and open it up with two pairs of chain nose pliers dangle on my pineapple and my lobster clasp and like I've told you all before you don't have to use the lobster clasp that's just what I use in the videos just for demonstration purposes to show you guys as a clip on charm but you can attach whatever you want to the top here whether it be a pendant bell or ear wires or whatever and I think these tiny little ones here would be great for earrings so if you want to put those on ear wires instead of lobster clasps I think that would be so cute and for our Shambhala I think I should have brought in a sequin for that I had one for my largest one but I didn't think of it for this so for each of those I've just got one of my three millimeter silver sequins and that just helps me make a larger head on my head pin for beads that have a larger hole that way my head pin won't slip through so I just put that on first and then goes my Shambhala bead and flowers with the small end downward and I'm putting on two of those and I'm going to bend that the best I can. It's kind of coming up from out of the hole there. I'm going to cut that. And then roll it into a loop with my round nose pliers. And sometimes it's kind of hard working down in the top of one of those flower beads. If you wanted to, you could put a little three millimeter round bead or something down in there just to take up that space. And again, I'm going to take my excess from my head pin and make a jump ring. And just cut that right where it meets. Now if I can get down in where my loop is down in there. And dangle on my pineapple. And my lobster clasp. And close it back up and there is another adorable little pineapple I have never seen the Shambhala beads in an oval shape but I think I will get online and see if I can find them because I love the Shambhala for the pineapple and I think it's absolutely perfect and the only thing that could make it more perfect is if that was an oval bead Okay, so now for my larger one, my three millimeter sequin again to enlarge the head on my head pin, and then my large oval bead. And this one is so much fun, I think it's just so whimsical. And then I'm going to start out with one of my larger flower beads the 27 millimeter. I think I want to start with the clear and then the frosted one and then my smaller one the 6 by 12 millimeter. and actually I think I do want to try to find 
a small bead to take up that space. That may be a little bit difficult to get into. So give me just a second. I've got a four millimeter bicone. I think that'll work okay. Just to get us up above that little cave-in area there so we can work a little easier. This one's kind of hard to hold together. And as you can see, I'm not really going to have to cut any excess off there. Just get a bend so I can roll that into a loop. That did leave us a little more than a quarter inch, so I'm going to come up a little higher and maybe we'll just have a little bit larger loop. And that is just adorable. I love that. I usually like the smaller, cute little things, but that giant pineapple I think is just so cute. So I'm going to bring in one of my jump rings that was left from these others since I didn't have any excess on this one to make one with. Open that up and dangle on the pineapple and the lobster clasp. Or in this one's case, I think this would be really cute with a pendant bell so that that large one here could go onto a necklace. So there are three different options of how you can make a pineapple bead charm and I think they are so summery, so whimsical and fun. I just love them. So you guys be sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of my pineapple bead charms. I think they are so much fun. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done that. Be sure to click the subscribe button and next to the subscribe button is a bell and if you click that you can choose to get notifications when I upload a new video give me a like over on my Facebook page, and also be sure to join our Facebook group, Crafty Minds. We have a lot of crafty crafters over there that share so many of their wonderful projects with us, and we'd love to see yours too. Also follow me on Pinterest and Instagram, and don't forget to visit my blog. I'll put the links to everything in the description below, so be sure and check those out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.